I need to get some time in on this game because I have a very, very, very busy week ahead of me. Um, and I would still like to continue to play Street Fighter VI at some point in my life, which would be nice. Anyway, uh, 16 boys. Let's do this. Uh, Franco Nero, thank you very much, man. You know what? Let's try, uh, Brunty, let's just try leaving it out of sub mode and seeing if, uh, you know, we're okay. Let's just see. I don't know if anybody gives a shit anymore. I don't know if anybody... Well, thank you, Kayan and Yuka for subbing and resubbing. Cadmus, Franco Nero, Servi H, Ironheart, Lockdown, Jago Hawking, uh, Menial Neff, Artie, Gurdom, John Meso, Veters, and Michael. Cool. Thank you, guys. Put it back in sub mode, please. Really? Do you think we need it that bad? Uh, ah, really? I have non-subs saying put it back. Put it back. Legion Lion, thank you very much, man. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess put us back. I guess put us back into secret mode. We can't have the things we talked about earlier on the secret stream for anybody that's tuning in. Um, I can't... I've already been advised that I shouldn't be talking about what we talked about earlier in this stream. So... We're gonna have to go into sub mode. If anybody's asking about the secrets, I can't talk about it, but I can't stop you guys from talking about it. So that's that's all I have to say about it regarding our, our secret stream. So let's go. Was wondering when you turn up. Hello from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Give me some more no, dragons to first. fight and I'll be happy. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. Good. The skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, Good. Right. Good. Five. We knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time. How many S ranks have I killed? All that are available. Taya says your brother's awake. Ooh, we get to go talk to, uh, you know, Redacted. Is that the right way? No, it is the right way, okay. Clive, it's that way. Whoa. Shit. Yo, Zenfushin, thanks for the triple sevens, dude. It was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Dion's not dead? Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. I thought he was dead. He's just That's very right. sleepy. What do you know of Ultima? All right, spit it. Let's go. Start getting into it. Let me know what this thing is. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. 18 years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care, I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? Kind of crazy, Clive. You're like Mega that Man Summon. Many answers that have eluded me. Aki, thanks for the yeah. bits, dude. I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive, 
You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His Weird. Mind. Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> well timed cough. Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. That was a lot of blood. Like an aggressive amount. Thing is like a lawnmower inside his chest. Well, what's the short of it? Don't tire, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. She's still Don't making that out. ship? Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian. What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant. It's funny, isn't Joshua, the even at this point in the story, older than the very large majority of most Final together. Fantasy protagonists? Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. He's like in his mid-twenties now. Or maybe his late 20s, right? He's like 28. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's way older, like... I mean, funny enough, Cloud was one of the oldest ones for like the, a long time, right? In terms of main, main story, like, protagonists in JRPGs, and he was only 21. And it's funny, I have a vivid memory of looking at the cast of Final Fantasy VII and their ages and being like, damn, they old. <laughs> you know? Just for comparative, looked at the ages of those characters and was like, damn, a bunch of old fogies in this game. Shit. <laughs> How old is Barrett? I think Barrett's like in his uh, 30s. Sid's the oldest. Sid is only supposed to be like 35. Right? Something like that. Sid is supposed to be like 35. Barrett's like 33-ish, early 30s. Barrett is the oldest at 38. Really? I thought Sid was the oldest. So we just unlocked an absolute shit ton of side quests, and I do not see 
any plus signs on these current side quests. I'm going to go to the reading table, though. So we're going to wait. Yeah, 35 years old, you're practically already dead, you know? Your contributions to society have officially ended at that at, at, at the age of 23, and everything that's left is just a withering husk of bone and mass, you know? Sorry. That's just the way it works. I apologize for the sudden un untoward gesture. Circumstances forced me to seek immediate aid. There's none of those from whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with the task most vexing. Oh, it's this guy. Um, I fear I wholly unable to perform his vaunted expectations, nearly due to the lack of martial aptitude on my part. So, but I am a manservant, not a mercenary. While I maintain these fitness ample to attend the needs of the manor, attending of the bandits, bandits and back alleys, I'm sort of ill-equipped. Okay. Yeah, sure. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's mm. rest? I want to be your uncle's manservant. What? Vincent's apparently 57. Right, but through bullshit, you know? Through, like, time skip shit. Red 13 is old as fuck. I get it, right? But that's bullshit. Don't give me that crap. Come on. Yo, wait, what? Okay, I guess we're not going anywhere but here. Anywhere but here. I got a weird loadout right now, so... Excuse me, it was specifically designed to kill a large-ass dragon. I think Sephiroth was in his late 20s, right? Before the time skip? Big poppy. Whoa, is Joshua going to be a part of the party and nuke stuff with us? Neat! Very neat. He's 26 at the time of Nibelheim. Gotcha. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gavin, the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. These some lanky boys, right? I won't, I won't lie. The, uh, you know, the Rossfield uh, gang is some lanky, uh, lanky kids. Clive was lanky as a teenager, and uh, Joshua also lanky. Okay, so what do we got? Well, that murdered that. Uh, what are we looking at here? You know what I'm looking at? Tacos. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Hang on a second. I'm order. I'm ordering uh, uh, tacos. Sorry. I would normally not order tacos from DoorDash, from like Jack in the Box. However, um, because of the lack of sauce. However, I have sauce here. So I saved it from last time. Bastards. Uh, Tobermark, thank you. Yes. Uh oh, loaded tiny tacos. Shit. Extra taco sauce, extra shredded lettuce. Shit. Uh, we want the cheese sauce. Hmm. No, I mean, that's not a sponsored stream. It's not. I'd have to tell you. I just felt like tacos suddenly. And I need to get them. Um, I don't have an option to put it on the side. That would have actually been a great idea. That's some serious heartburn. I'm lucky I don't get heartburn very often. I'm lucky. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. Hmm. 
How good is the Jack Rap chat? This is new to me. I don't know what the fuck these are. Anybody know? Is the Jack Rap any good? Are they worth it? They're, they're cheap. Huh. Sorry, this is, this is interrupting the playthrough. I'm not getting a munchy meal. I'm not high currently. They're not bad. Hmm. All right. I'll take a risk. I have to like, you know, order enough so the dash delivery fee gets waived. Uh, okay. We'll give them a good tip. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Currently. Uh, speaking of which. 5696, Zealot, Misa Man, all over your face. Tobermark, thanks for the five gift subs. Izzy T, Leo Grin, Singular Meatball, uh, Rocket Bear, Low Skill Plays, Shaney, Wicked, Carlos, Clus Mosque, Lutheran Cross, Ghostly Tricks, Creo Stoman, uh, Danger Bomb Bazooka, Doom Nomatron, Sloki, Hypotenuse, Master Killer, Pocky, thanks for the bits, Super Hulklian, The Crimson Kodiak, LYK, Phantom T-Bird, Lurk, Rider X84, Zen Foshin, thanks for the triple sevens. Max, we love you, please never change. And damn, those secrets from uh, earlier in the stream were juicy, shine on. I know, I know. I didn't want to reveal too much. Trust me. Let me see if this works. That does not kill nearly as fast, because I would hope it would. Uh, it's not what I need right now. Wrong one. Stop it, you stupid dog! I'm gonna get used to my my buttons. Uh, let's do this. Hang on a second. Seventeen hundred points. I'm saving for Giga Flare, and I am acquiring. I need to re reformat. Sorry, I need to reformat. I need to put some stuff in different places. We don't need heat wave anymore. I'll take uh rising flame. I'll take rising flame. Yeah, everyone's saying upgraded Giga Flare is crazy good. I get it. Oh, I can't go anywhere over here. Shit. Hope everyone brought their chickens. Fly Ambrosia. The only problem with ignition is that it lasts too long. It takes up the limit break like a bit too much. I'm sorry, it takes up the stagger meter a bit too much. Any things that like freeze the stagger meter, you know? We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. see what is over here oh a corral Thanks, girl. well okay then Well, this thing never got a chance to fight. This poor weird cat never got a chance to fight. Ooh, there's a box. He did. He did drop the jerk in. Apparently, there's a regal sash. A. Hey, you drop an assault jerk in for me. 
Regal Sash. What the hell was that? What the hell was the Regal Sash? <laughs> was it an item? Huh? Was it a... Weird item? There it is. Um, damn. Well, that's better. I see better numbers. Me equippy. It's about all the nuance there is to it. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think a sash would be a belt. Son of a bitch. Well, that kind of clears out everything. Okay. You know what? Uh, Wings of Light is really good. It's not bad. It's just that it takes a long time to get it charged up. Can I upgrade it? Hold on a second. No, I can't. That's just the default way it is. Okay. I was like, yeah, maybe I can make it even better. Oh, son of a bitch. That's one way to clear everything out. This is a very, like, passive way of doing a shit ton of damage, right? Seems very passive. Oh, is that Joshua? Joshua's got a, a height beam of his own. Okay. Yeah, all that for 30k? I thought I was about to hit 100,000 damage or some crazy shit. I thought I was about to get some ridiculous number out of that. And again, nothing. Trust me, the IRL bit rate was also crushed during that. Don't worry. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. I didn't pop a strength potion. I did not. I didn't. I don't think I used any of those even in my uh, big S rank dragon fight. Well, everything is dying extremely fast. 
Dead chocobos? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Strength potions <laughs> imply you were weak to begin with. I do. Where are you off to now then? Oh god. Aimed for the free cities, perhaps? Yep, see you later. Oh. No need to say if you'd rather not. We all have our reasons. Ain't exactly feeling like sharing with strangers myself at the mo. Yeah, me either. Truth be told, we could do with a bit of inspiration. Don't know which way to turn no more. Yeah, me either. Who's doing a roaring street back in Oriflam? Boy, up until the poor Drake lost her noggin. So, thought try me luck in the desert. Yeah, me too. Ah, uh, bye bye. This looks convenient. Whoa. You are actually really hurt. And I can't talk to you for some reason. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. Aether flood. My own men did this. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. Yes. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <clears throat> it's right over there. Yes. Forgive me. Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. I guess he died. I'm assuming he died. Uh, I should, you shouldn't. Let's not talk about Kupka. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Damn, some crazy chickens. Good. Go here in time. I just realized that protects you. Can't even reach this fool. I can't even reach this guy. He's so far up there. Jesus. This guys is getting juggled to holy shit. Okay. Someone there. Yo, as dead. Thank you. Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Where's this guy at? You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others? They're fine. Of? Another They're survivor. fine. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. I just like fighting stuff. You 
seem familiar. You oh. must have me confused with someone else. Don't talk to me anymore. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. Uh-oh. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Suddenly, the side quest got interesting. Yeah, that was a good one, right? Now I'm glad we did that one. That doesn't happen all the time. It's not a consistent thing. This guy's like, oh, I'm now stuck in this Aether Flood. Oh, good. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Back to the stables, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Bye bye Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. This place is cool. All the cities look really nice. Welcome, welcome. The diamond sword. Uh, that was what I had before. Sorry. Might as well start buying these orchestrations, right? I got nothing choice. else to spend this money on. And as soon as Anything I say else? that, there will be something that I need to spend my money on. Yeah, turning off motion blur has made a huge difference for the visual quality of this game, in my opinion. I think it looks much better. It was just too... encompassing. Just too much of it. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? Yeah, please. Go into detail. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. 
And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. War looters. Ah, ah, ah. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened howls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? That's fine. That's normal. Ah, shit. That's not normal. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this... A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king is come to save us from the Akashic. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough. Everybody's dead? worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. What? See that he is made welcome. 
Huh? Yes, your majesty. Come, Euthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. I don't know who they're implying to there. Mother's already dead. It's a she. Huh. It's not Jill. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Damn, we're getting some expo dump right now. Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. The figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. No sound effect. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Is she an owl? <laughs> Never mind. Don't answer that. Let's find our friends. So I'll leave that there. Some last boss spoilers. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Who the hell are you?
Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. Good. I see. That's good. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. We are but four people. Normal people with no powers, but huge brains. Ah, good. More badges. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. I would wish to use the restroom. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, it's almost like they are, you know, branded. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. You know, like they're they're branded, but for people that love the Phoenix. The free cities and the sea. Uh, left or right? Oh shit! Choices. Um, we go left. Hang on a second. My tacos are here. Give me a moment, chat. Bro. What have we got over here? That's a lot of dudes. Workish fodder, eh? Let us be rich. Ah. Up today. Jeez. It's funny, like, you barely even need to swing your goddamn sword. You really don't. Really, we need to swing the fucking sword. Yeah, Bahamut's almost like an auto battle, auto auto battle icon. Yeah, I agree. Sort of is that way. It's over here, man. Yeah, Kenny keeps showing too many people. Uh, you know the taco spot. So. Turning into a, uh, a tourist destination. Too many people know about it now. Uh oh. Orcs? Take this orc. This might take a while. Fuck you guys. Can I dis dis dismount? Did I forget the dismount button? There we go. It wasn't activating for some reason. Fire at you. Ow! Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh 
Oh god damn it. I'm really fucking this up, aren't I? Yeah, things just pretty much start dying very fast. What's that whistling? That's me taunting the enemy so they'll attack me. You need them to attack you, right? If they attack you, you get, you get crazy buffs. So, you try to like bait them. Orcish Mesmerizer, I love it. I love these guys. Thanks, girl. Straight FF11 bosses, I love it. Maybe I don't need to do all of them. Jeez. Sheesh. Oh, this is being blocked currently. Alrighty then, inaccessible. It just keeps going. It's kind of nuts. Let's go. My favorite FF11 expansion. Oh. oh. Chains? I mean, right? I only ever got to Odd Ergen, and I didn't even do Odd, Odd Ergen that much. Let's say chains. Yeah, wasn't chains the ending um where you're fighting with Preesh or whatever her name is? A big crazy fight? Men are still holding their own then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. The story fights in FF11 were fucking hard, dude. I don't know if anyone was there back in the early 2000s, but Archangel 18 for a while was undefeatable. For like a solid little while, AA18 was impossible. Yeah, Al Zero would remember. And then people started figuring out, you know, okay, well, there's a way to beat this shit. Then the level cap started going up a little bit higher and stuff like that, you know? Absolute virtue is obviously a nightmare. Obviously. But, you know. Yes, for pretty much, yeah, you walk into uh, Archangel 18 and have like, you know, 16 black mages just nuking the fuck out of whatever the hell's going on with a bard, you know? I don't know if I need to do side quests. Let's take a look. Uh, Tabor doesn't have anything nuts. Boklad doesn't have anything nuts. This doesn't have anything nuts. We'll have to have a side quest day. These are just the ones back home, right? Wait. Smooth like butter. Oh, shit. We actually have a critical side quest here, it looks like. At least it looks like it. Yeah, I did tanking as Paladin in that fight. You're essentially running around. Like, you, you take the samurai or some shit, and you have to, like, uh, you have to, like, train them in a different direction. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Uh, exclamation point, I think, is... Priority one? Oh, maybe that's just my current quest destination. Damn it. It's from the one I had before. Yeah. My lord, Marcus, is that... Dang it. It is you. I am Sebastian Rutherford. Nice to meet you. Yes, my lord. Yes. What was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. It's all right. 
I am here at Martha's rest, at yes. last with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. You talk very slow. And what I have learned is grim. Oh, it's grim. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. I the noticed. The years of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift. We Your noticed. Lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. Okay. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Alas. I have lost contact. Where'd Both they go? Able-bodied and... So yeah. Me to find them. I'll find them. Where they... One I sent to investigate the Republic. Right. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. Yeah. Thank you, my lord. Yeah. You're welcome. Go find some people. I want to help save the world. Okay, I'll do that. If I run across them, I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Let me go down here to the main quest. <laughs> now. Trust me, you guys aren't missing anything. Trust me, we've been playing the game for 40 fucking hours. And I swear, 15 of it has been spent, like, in, in engaging with NPC dribble. And it isn't valuable. At all. Sounds like thunder. When something cool happens in a side quest, we'll know. Like that one guy that, you know, found out that I killed his, you know, general and all that stuff. That was cool. <laughs> We're starting to think it's Gav's still, still alive. Look at this. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. This dude will not be able to believe this. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Byron is having a great week. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. I'm going solo? Find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. I do have Torgal. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. 
That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Yo, dude, Mebo, thanks for the prime. Ooh, this place looks nice. Jesus. Wow. All right, Togo. Let's find those survivors. <clears throat> wow, god damn. Do love the way the environments look in this game. God damn. Feckin' orcs, man. This is good. Might have been overkill. Those are just orcish fodders. Why were they level 20? What's going on here? My ass is still doing Ultima shit. Did I just get doinked by this dude? Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Nuke this bitch. Oh boy. Oh my, he has a lot of health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, none of that. The one time I should have actually done it. Now that is a lot of dudes. Anybody else? Oh, hi, guys. Any uh, chests or anything lying around? Doesn't look like it.
Hey, I was just complaining about this. It just felt like there should be a chest. That's crazy. There should be a chest around here. And there it is. This is PvP, yes. Uh, the people we're currently going up against are actually the best in the world. Ah, oh, shit. Took the basic one. What the hell happened? Big shit. Holy free, holy. the rest of that okay that dog survived a very long time workish mesmerizer huh whoa what in that dumb shit is going on over here boys collective death These things are still around me. Joshua and Jill must be busy. <sighs> oh my god, I'm a big idiot! is a big boy. Seventy K boys, here we go. New record. 
I, it was the perfect scenario. Inside. I had a uh, level four Bahamut activated. Perfect scenario. Damn. And he survived. He actually stayed in stagger state long enough. Did I hit 75k on the dragon? Did I really? Oh, I didn't even realize I hit that much. I thought I did like 60. Paper of light flare breath. Uh, are we getting good uh, points for this? Hold on a second. We are. God damn. We are cranking this shit. I am buying Giga Flare. Let's go. Uh, let's fucking go. Uh, satellite. Winds of light. I might use flare, flare breath eventually just to see what the heck it's like. Uh, Giga Flare is probably going to do a lot of goddamn damage. Where are they? Oh, can I upgrade Impulse? <gasps> Not yet. These creatures. These ultimate creatures tend this far. What the hell is going on here? all that. Let's get a little bit of this. Jesus, man. Crazy. You've caused quite the commotion. Is it but you? I would expect no less from you. Oh, shit. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Is this going to 1v1 me, bro? I don't know if that's a good idea. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the of House Harbor. And you will yield. Cool. Or not. Hey, why you hold on to this first for me?
just hold on to all this for me. How about that? Where'd you go? Cool. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely. Is he a drag? Oh god, he's a dragon. Cool. Sick. Yes. Shit, that went really far. Jumping attacks. Lots of numbers, IRL bitrate compromised. Slain! That guy's dead. That guy is actually dead. We skip a... We skip a phase? The vessel is strong. Yeah? My leash. Clive! 
You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh shit. Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharn, Warden of Ash and King of Walu. Get back. Opens with Stinger, that's a smart man. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Muthos. Muthos. Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Damn this music, though. Uncharacteristic. <laughs> Power 
found the reckoning, and they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Meanwhile, what? Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh. He's the main character. He'll be fine. Cover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him. If it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hair, yeah, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What? What do you mean? She kept what? the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> Oh, good. <clears throat> they can feel them in the, uh, the, you know, the, the summon force. We'll see the Black Galleon. <clears throat> you will be with the king, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself.
back to the hideaway it's an update on the world map all right gav said that otto might know something cole said it was an army how are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are God? Yeah, it seemed like uh, Clive's demise yeah, there was a else. bit uh, undercooked. Don't tell me. You know, they're all right. It didn't it's feel like story. it exactly was paid off. You got kicked. <clears throat> you know. You lot don't do things. Put all the goddamn budget that. into the Bahamut fight. Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings. I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Workshops over there. Yeah, it just happened very fast, right? There was no build up to it. Clive didn't use any of his like abilities. He ran at him and then got sliced. Like I feel like if I was if I was in control, that shit would not have happened. Do you think you know? That, and I think that's the disconnect is that Clive, as a playable character in a video game from the human side, is a fucking godlike creature. And then he gets kicked and sliced, and I'm like, buddy, you could have R1 that. And it would have been easy. Like, easy. So there's a, like a little bit of a disconnect there that, you know, Clive in cutscenes suddenly doesn't have any of the abilities that he has normally. Clive, you're better than this. Come on, man. I mean, I get it. The story has to go. I'm, I'm just saying it could have been handled better. That's all I'm saying. This looks like it's Could have been somewhat more of a spectacle and a build-up. You'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. I think it would have been actually really cool if his bitch ass and all the and all like the the the, the shitty like orcish fodder fights that you're going throughout the city. How cool would it have been if like I'm just pitching the idea that Barnabas is like fucking with you and testing you the entire way, and it feels like you keep getting closer and closer to him, and you know every time you get closer to him, he throws dickheads at you and leaves, or something like that, and you can never actually like hit him or beat him or something, and then by the time you get close to him, what does he do? He sunset sukins your ass. And it's like, that would have been neat. That would have been some sort of build-up of some kind. I don't know. I mean, I guess I know it'll happen yeah, later. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying. Just saying. Sleeps. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Again, the Bahamut fight was very expensive. We've had no word from Canva for days. Wait, what's up down here? Oh, that's weird that didn't pop up. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. Oops. I know you like riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. One of my Inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing the place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps in the first. And I have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Good Six luck. Best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know.
Otto. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I'm gonna probably do most side quests eventually, but... Uh, you know, after the, the 30, 40 hours of game that we've been going through so far, the very large majority of them don't... aren't super interesting. Some of them are really cool, but... they take up a lot of time. Like, a lot of time. And the, the world building is only so good sometimes. I sorry, I, I definitely got side quest fatigue. Is what I'm saying, so I'm pretty much prioritizing... like, main quest and stuff like that, unless something really important pops up. Much less, the rewards for them aren't good either, you know? Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. Max the kid. Off screen. There's something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it! Sid fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah! New music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. <laughs> With whatever the fuck this is. It doesn't look specifically important. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? What? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's Keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. 
Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. I'm gonna say it right now. And it could be the obvious, you know, very obvious heavy bias, but... Of all the Final Fantasy games that I've played, the one that that I think does it the best when you have to essentially retire the main character for a while, and the reasoning and, you know, redemption of that situation to eventually build back to something climactic and a big return is, you know, it's Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> right? If it's definitely ask, FF7 whole fucking like game builds up to that moment and it's like buddy fuck and it feels like it happens in a lot of final fantasies right in general in, in most final fantasies like you're yeah they they essentially take away the main character for a while and uh you know subsidize them from some other characters or something like that ff6 does it as well and it's pretty good but i i think obviously seven does it like better uh in terms of what it eventually leads to and the reveal of story and all that kind of stuff, right? Happens, it happens a bit. It happens in 8 and 6. Uh, I don't know about 12 and 13. It's been a long time since I played 12, bro. And I definitely didn't play 4. Um, FF15 did. You're right. You know what? FF15 probably is my second favorite one. I think FF15's was pretty great, where they retire the main character and the reveal that happens afterwards is pretty sick. You know? I mean, spoilers, the fact that it is, you know, like, l thrust, like, 10, 15 years in the future type shit. I thought that was actually kind of sick. The room played. Yeah, not a lot of people like 15, but I really love my playthrough of that game. Royal Edition, or Royale Edition, or whatever the hell. I have to- I have to explain that because I'm not defending the launch version of that game at all! Can I like preview this? I'm buying it, I'm gonna go play it. It's gonna happen, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna go play it. It'd better all be here. Who's that sulking over oh, there by the blasted. Got my Taco Bell song in here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's funny because in 7, they essentially retire the main character, you find him, they retire the second main character, and you're left with, like, a ragtag group of kind of, like, the game's weirdos in some way. I can't remember if Barrett's there. I think he is, at least. But you have to fight with, like, Sid and shit like that, and Sid becomes, like, the party leader. It's very, it's a very weird part of the game. However, they give you really interesting shit to do there in that, in that part of FF7. They give you some really fascinating bosses and some crazy stuff that you have to go like defend while what you do during that defense directly affects what happens to Cloud and Tifa so everything's kind of related like it feels like oh okay but it's not like this is just we're just gonna go do shit see you later oh there is one part it's the huge materia you're right it's the shit in Corel the crazy train sequence where you gotta like hunt down the fucking train and shit so what do I owe the honor? And not steal from that one guy where that one enemy shows up at that one spot of one spot of the whole fucking game. <laughs> right, Chad? Isn't there an armor piece that you have to steal from some big robo bird or some shit? No, don't craft. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. I played in thirteen games. I played. I played Anything like else? half of thirteen. Ooh, a plus sign. I played half of 13 part one. 
Steven, thanks for the tier one. And I was not inclined to beat it. I just didn't go back to it. No, Angel. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Yes. Maybe. I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. Do you? I can't wait to hear it. I'm going I to can't wait to hear, hear it. With morbles. I know, I know. But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. Okay. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. Interesting. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. You want me to go hunt more balls? Okay. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear... Ordinary may not suffice, but as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Mm. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh, really? How timely. Well, I shall I'm having fun with this quest already. Much to do. Already, as the do premise I. has me interested. Now, where did I put my watering can? You know, already. Like that that was a that was a side quest conversation that had me engaged when they started promoting what I'm gonna have to do and what it is. Like, let's take the ass end of a chocobo and the wings of a Moogle and create a baby. Go fight an iron giant for some reason, okay? I'm definitely coming back because I wanna see what the fuck that turns into. Anyway, I'm engaged, is what I'm trying to say. Sid, heard you were in combo. What you Please, sir, can I have some more bull? Oh, god damn it. Lucky I didn't ban you. Chill, mods, chill. I went the longest way possible, did I not? I went an extra long way. Fuck. Oh, I wasn't expecting you. Oh, it's the so quest soon. name. I'm still gonna ban you. Come to claim your just desserts. No risk, no reward. Orchestration. All Thank yours. you. Talisman of priming. What? Definitely a limit break sort you. of thing, right? All right. This is definitely gonna be around Martha's rest. Ooh, damn, that's a crazy looking morble. Um, protruding from the marshes, the three reeds do not attempt to pull it to an enemy's to a swampy soil. It is in truth another root vegetable entirely. An exotic species of morble that is used as a modified carrot-like vine to lure the draw to, it, to its prey close. Before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole, a cruel way for nature to turn their times of priv privation to her advantage. There's a, oh my God, a, a red chocobo that does Comet? Sick. And some dogs. Great. Great. Um, Dalmachia, couple in Dalmachia, okay. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go do that. Oh, you also have a plus sign. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Half of that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this. But I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And 
Seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe. I'd speak to him. Stop again. showing stuff to Blackthorn. Yeah. Well, Don't ever show him anything ever again. No leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have. All right. I'll meet you by the forge then. Don't ever talk to Blackthorn ever again. Just stop talking about him. He's just gonna freak out by something that's that, that's sharper and and shinier than what he's currently making, and go into existential dread. Cole said it was an army of a cash. If it's knowledge you seek. again oh, and you got better things to do with your time i do that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you come on mate bottling it up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right it brought back some unhappy memories memories of what there are things we'd all rather leave behind blackthorn Sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. Mm. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades. And the last time I did, we almost came to blows. I gotta go and find Zoltan. Brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. He should have spit. Can <laughs> we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers are provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. What'd you say, Blackthorn? It's not like you'll be going to luck. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name? In Dravosht, my old village. Dravosht, eh? Just north of the fields of Carava. Yes. Right, Clive, meet us at Dravosht just and I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. Okay. Yeah, it feels like the game is absolutely hammering us with uh, all, not not just a shit ton of side quests, but critical side quests, stuff that that that, that is actually plus sign, that is like you know changes game stuff, which is necessary, like getting chocobos and you know stuff like that. Um, at a point that feels kind of dire, like right now, it feels like we got to go save Jill. Like where's Jill? And Dion just pissed off. Shit! I, I kind of just tempted us to go down here. Ah! Jill who? <laughs> uh... Jesus. Uh, let's go read that signboard again about this big Morboro. Very lucky I like fighting shit. I heard, your, I heard your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Scoopo, and if, if every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one you just got posted on the board, I can see why. Um, a carrot protruding from the marshes of three reeds. Marshes of three reeds, eh? So that's around Martha's rest. Uh... 
Okay, so there's three reeds. It's over here. It's also over here. It could be in the Whispering Waters. It's probably in the Whis- It's definitely in the Whispering Waters. I'm going this way. Yeah, I actually went to this area like... There's gonna be a boss over here, right? Aya! Aya! You deserve a rest. Hmm. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's, let's get some nice and spicy variety to this. This will make it harder to dodge shit, though, but... Let's do this boss fight in graphics mode. Make it a little crispier. Uh-oh, I picked up some clamshells, and this thing is definitely pissed. Whoa! I wish it was bigger. Oh, it's fairly big. Oh, God. Oh, I can't see shit, Captain. All right, that was a bad start. What the dumb fuck? Oh, God. Why, game? He was hitting himself with the other thing. Ah, oh, just giga fire this thing. Just giga flare this carrot. Shit. Sorry. To me, boy. Well, you are definitely debilitated for a very long time. What the fuck? Can't see shit, man. Oh my god, I, 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 I thought I was ready for it, but I'm just gonna piss off, right? Damn, 
That's one big dead chicken. That's one big dead chicken. Got it. Ugh. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Neat. <gasps> um. Martha's rest has some shit. Whoa, we got a plus quest over in Tabor. Is that the one we are working on? Blacksmith Blues. That'd be the one. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, I need to be using impulse more often, you know? I think that's I think impulse might end up being one of the best uh skills in the game. Seems incredibly good, dude. If there's one thing that you can take from uh Bahamut's moveset that is ridiculously good, it is I obviously Giga Flare and Impulse. Impulse is the one that shoots two orbs and they home in on like a locked on enemy. And they just hover around the enemy and hit it a whole bunch. Uh, when they hit it, it eventually glows red or orange. Come and on. you can make them explode Run for crazy the damage. And then it recharges ridiculously fast. It's stupid good. You just sort of set it and forget it. You just, you just, uh, you just press the impulse button again. That's it, to, to make it go off. All right. If you upgrade it, it shoots four. Should be looking at that. I didn't pick that up and I don't care. Hold on a second. And granted, it's funny. It makes the game all but even easier, but at the same time, it's fun experimenting. That's like, you know, what makes RPGs enjoyable, much less action games. Uh... Am I really... Did I already upgrade it? It says Master. I think, I think I mean, I mean Mastery, right? No. That's already upgraded. Huh. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. I already did. At some point, I did. Gentlemen. What the fuck? That was really close. Oh my god, 30 FPS, boys. Here we go. Just gonna look. Just gonna sit here and watch as all this shit just, you know, gets absolutely fucking destroyed. Yeah, Bahamut is definitely a lot of set it and forget it, which is why I kind of want to buy the, the fire breath. Fire breath seems like it is the least interesting part, right? This is easily the least interesting thing, but, you know, Maybe it's good. Done already. No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. <laughs> you look like trouble. You go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. I ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. Yeah, I'll 
promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. Yo, Sleepe, hey, thanks for the prime. Steven Rogers, Alien Burrito, Xanten, Big Slick, Easy, uh, Herbs Hygiene, Bullet Club Gaming, Decaying Reaver, Raven, Iron Eye, Solid Stuff, Manasora, Kojima, Phil14. So uh, Dude Mabo, Merc, VidK, Alfina, Kingza, Wild Thing, and King Nero. Appreciate it, everybody. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of Hammer on Anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. Okay. Let me go talk. Well, if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our key? Another plus sign up here. Weird I'm getting tailed along with all this shit. Uh -huh. Game is really, you know, fishing me out here with all these side quests. Hotter. Hotter, damn it. Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter. Let Maybe that's him. Iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right. I'm going. For Itchy, thanks for the raid. Yeah, it's funny how my dodge timing gets significantly compromised when I go to performance mode. Uh, I'm sorry, when I go to graphics mode from performance mode. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him around. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. 
Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. <laughs> Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. There's got to be another way to, you know, it's not your fault. grow you plants and food it doesn't matter and clean your clothes and make fire. No. Slaves. That's it. No other Gosh. way. Slaves and crystals. No other way. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest, and you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two. Yes, cutting August. corners eventually bites uh, you in the butt. Right, then. Yes. Chernobyl exists. I've got a job for you too, that's, the, that's the point of it. Some skin. Eventually, if you start yeah, cutting corners on things that are really dangerous, for us, just for the sake yeah, of cutting corners, it rubber. leads to bad shit. Time for a spot of hunting, man. Oh, I got a hunt shit. Yeah. Uh, I got a hunt shit in regular vicinity. Hey, come here. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Was Storm Panther? Straight here it is. Fuck me, thirty FPS, boys. Ah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this game eventually running at like 120 FPS or some shit. That'll be a sight to behold. But most, most Square games run kind of trashy on PC, at least at the start. So, you know. Let's make this quick, shall we? Come here, you fucking salamander. Salamandan piece of shit. I 
couldn't see it. My wings are too goddamn big. Oh god, what the fucking shit! Okay. thing wow or thing well, I've acquired that say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows yeah think ah. you think I gotta go save Jill after this. This is ridiculous. It'll do, girl. Would you prefer part two of FF7 Remake's combat to be like 16 or the same as the first part? Oh, same as the first part. Um, uh, this game's combat is designed around having one playable character. Seven's combat is designed around having like seven, <laughs> you know? Like even more than what was in the first game. So for What's sure, I would like to see, you know, parts of this game integrated into that. But you know, the, the game already has stuff like that between counter stances and all that shit. Any trouble finding this game? Nothing I couldn't handle. There should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Meanwhile... Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right? You know what this means? <laughs> I do, yeah. Drinks on the house. Sorry about earlier. I, uh, didn't take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet calls cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. For some reason, I thought that was Blackthorn for a second in the background. I'm like, he's right there. <laughs> oh, I'm right here, fuckers. Since the day I became chief. I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the end, but we'll ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But Dravosht. He took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. 
I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet, though, so... See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. So let's go back to the hideaway, cash in these two thingies, and go save Jill, for Christ's sake! Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can never Vile Gale, thank you for the tier one. Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? Sounds like I better get to work. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? <laughs> yes! Make me shit, please! You've got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. It's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. Good. Everyone's happy. Good. Very good. Give me thingy. I'm leveling up from the blacksmith quests. Ouroboros. What is that? Another thing that I can't make yet? Interesting. Another thing that I can't make yet. What do you want? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Ooh. No scratches, all right? Fucking craft thing, god damn it, whatever. Do my best work. But it'll do. It's fine. Anything else? Is it at the bottom? At the bottom of the armor pages? Probably with your gear, or what do you want? There they are. Nice. Yeah, okay. Sons of Ouroboros. Stained loincloth. Well, I can give you one of those. Hey, you! Information! Uh, Sid, I, uh... Can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Yeah. It's your problem now. Yeah. What an amazing specimen. Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. <laughs> Should be some hilarious sound effects here. It 
is just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. Thanks. Uh, my healing now heals better. I think. Oh god, that quest name. Maximized. Oh shit, it's done. You've obtained a file of Morgan Beard, uh, further increasing the potency of most consumables, both potions and eye potions restore even more HP while the stone skin maximized? Isn't that's the last one, like the maximum? Hmm. You don't go no further? We take our boat here? Otto, thank you. King Mogli, Hondes, Matthias, Vilegale, Chris Octo, uh, Habibi, Beastly VR, Sleepy Alien Burritos. Thank you, everybody. I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Inea is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard-pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But and Princess Nina, thank you. This isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive. What do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullocks! All hands! Magnusation! with me. What is a cash of assholes? Here they come. Why didn't we close that door? Should have locked it or something. Guy opened it with his face. Damn, that is a lot of dickheads. All right, here we go. Let's turn our, uh, you know, our system thing to be able to dodge stuff. All right, there we go. Man in the 
shit. Okay, let's get crazy. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, wow, I didn't get hit by this guy. I got broken. I'm getting shocked. Hundred and forty four damage. Look at that guy. He took so much life. Can't believe it. Easy enough. That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. But I thought he was confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. His fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Interesting. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my ex? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave! We follow! Hello! Swimming, are you? Oh, bother me! Lay anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. It's not flood to the drums through an edgy space. These foes will not fall. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! Oh, they're kind of normal. How long will we make? 
keep this up. As long as it takes. Unless you have a better one. We have already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. There's a lot of it. Those guys were dying. Who is attacking me? Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. These guys are very easy. I wish they were as hard as the uh, the normal guys. Right, even Gab's taken a whole bunch of them out. Be because of how many I killed. Now, mate. Oh, oh shit! No, not now. Wait! Oh fuck! What do you want? I think she's alive. That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. 
You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randalar can provide them. When the what? Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 Seventeen hours later. Do keep up, my boy. Well, you can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. I was about to say, is this Sam Breck? Wow, he went back. He hobbled the whole way. Medicine girl's back. Me lord! Who are you again? Damn, the ship looks cool. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Skill can do. Engaging story. Where one leads, so does the other follow. 
follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. Damn, you can actually act of time lore this? Fuck. Wow, this is an in-game cutscene? That's crazy. Alright, I just wanted to check. Looks very good. Power of the PS5 and all. I think there is CG in this game, but it's very far in between. I'll find her. Who's that guy? Big ship. Put my whole whole hand up his ass. How's it going? Burned your lock before. Bad day for you. That's for sure. Ooh. Jill. Hello. Jill. Drop the fight to 
Like, who are these people? Should I be hitting them? There's a box! Excuse me, Torgal. You dickhead. Where the hell did you come from? I did. I, I will. I can't believe I got hit. Oh my god, you, you I'm too distracted. Oh my god, I can't see shit in this area. This thing in the middle is the worst, man. I'm having to like, this guy's over here just casting shit at me from behind the scenes. Please die. Thank you. Jeez. I feel like the uh, the environment here is the biggest challenge. Where is the door? Is that our door?
Gotta stock up on bananas, planks and stuff. That's it. Dark in here. Jill, you came. Get back. Uh, uh, Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Had. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> And still! Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Damn, Odin's entrance is crazy. It only deflects it, damn. What the shit? Thing tore a hole in the ocean. That was a cool idea. Wow. Cool set piece. Joshua. The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. 
and all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The Blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. <laughs> I'm gonna run down here. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. It's only to remind you of your duty. Ah, I couldn't see shit, Captain. Rise, Mythos. Ah. Last time, in the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. happening. Oh shit. Oh shit. And thus is the light of hope severed. You would yield so soon. Never. Not a mortal blow. I'm fine. I wonder if you can actually interrupt them. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, 
dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Yithos. Who are we? What are the dominant? This is what I kind of hoped happened during the first encounter, the yeah. still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his. And yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... ...to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... Divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? ...and abandon everything we hold dear! We don't need your... ...salvation. We'll save ourselves... ...and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours... ...and not your gods! With every defiant expression of your will... ...the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps... ...that fact may be put to use. Oh dear. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back.
<laughs> what? Clive bested again? Huh? I got experience for being beaten. That's good. The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they would have seen the ice. Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Suddenly naked. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. Suddenly naked. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. <laughs> Only you won't do that. They're drying their clothes? Sure. But Clive, I know, would never do that. Sure. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. <laughs> ton of viewers show up because of the thumbnail. You've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. my purpose what if it's all I'm good for you're still that same boy I grew up with always so eager to save everyone around you and yet always so alone You failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. <laughs> Ass cheek hanging out right there. <laughs> <I'm not saying. laughs> this, no this shot. <laughs> Provided it's to, I'm being distracted. You fight to survive. <laughs> and you survive so that you may protect Sorry. those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. that they're just naked as shit makes it harder to swallow
see now that they are all a part of me. This is what sex is like in Final Fantasy. It's exactly like this. This is what it is. Whenever characters have sex in Final Fantasy, this is what happens. You see, sweetheart, when a, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, they enter the mystical space cone and exchange destiny light with each other. Let's get some rest now. That we might one day look upon the moon again. <laughs> together. So they go there do they go to their separate beds? And I promise you, Clive. That I will be there. No matter what you must become. thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Let's go to bed now. Oh no, they're actually going to kiss naked on a beach. <laughs> well, there you go. Final Fantasy 16, everybody. <laughs> The scene I can't help but is made more comical by the situation present. I can't help it. He should have her clothes on and <laughs> she should have his. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait.
Yeah, but we're all the way over here. Damn it. We gotta get up here. Damn it. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjia, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. I get a new icon to mess around with. Yee. Power of Ice. Nice magic spells, but also allows access to new iconic abilities, yada, yada, yada. Cold snap. Swiftly move left, right, forward, or back. Either dodge attacks, close in on an enemy. Ooh, more mobility. Uh, maybe I'll finally take away... Uh... Maybe I'll finally take away Phoenix? I should visit Joshua. Assuming Talia will allow it. There's no way there's another quest over here. Another Sid quest. Oh my god, there's more quests everywhere. Oh my god. So. Shiva Dash, probably not as good. Ice Age looks cool. Those look neat. They pull the enemy towards you. Can be used midair. Okay. All right. Uh. Shiva Dash is very good. Rhyme. Summon a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside it. Cool. That feels like that might be uh, the new like lightning rod? Dash freezes enemies and bosses? Whoa. Damn, Diamond Dust looks badass. Lightning Rod is still technically better. Yeah. You can see it. Slide effortlessly across the ground. In any direction, attacking with circle while sliding can temporarily flee freeze enemies. That seems so fucking good. That seems so good. Can be used to dodge enemy attacks. Circle can be used while sliding to execute a powerful follow-up attack called Frostbite. Enemies stuck with Frostbite will become temporarily frozen. Precisely dodging an enemy attack with Cold Snap freezes all enemies within a radius known as Permafrost. Oh my god. And so it, buff is, it buffs your... It's a new dodge. Permafrost duration is depending on strength of the enemy attack. Increases the duration. Um... Yikes. So it's not kind of like a risk reward, you know? You get you can do the regular dodge, which is easy to do. Or this one. Which has a tighter timing, but is obviously like better. Hmm. Cold snap window is more of a parry timing than a dodge. Yeah. Betting which one of these to get.
I'm going to go with um, Ice Age. Extended, extends precise precision window. Oh, shit. This one has a big one. Okay, I'm going to upgrade Ice Age. I'm going to grab Rhyme. And Rhyme increases crystal duration. I'll upgrade these two. Yeah, I'm not going to master them just yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll be okay. Mess around. We'll actually take off... Um, what haven't we used? Definitely haven't used a lot of Ramu stuff. That is true. It didn't seem that great. Can be used in mid-air. Lost three shards behind Clive. Okay. Fire three shards of ice and a cone in front, pulling any lighter enemies. Strike forward. Hmm, okay. All right. Blacksmith Blues! Even weirder science! Again! Uh, the Dread Comet. Ooh, there's a locked quest up there. Interesting. Actual locked quest? Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that, well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but if something ain't done soon, the old place will be open. We better go do something. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. There's a, uh, blacksmith thing accepted. Okay. Hopefully, uh, we'll talk to the weirder guy, and he will... give us... another hunt quest. Because most of the time, the botanist guy gives you hunt quests. Which are fun. Where the hell am I going? Oh, it isn't the botanist guy, though. It's some... Mm, this dude. Dialogue didn't get sped up. I'm skipping the stuff that isn't important. That's what happened. Just the man I was hoping to see. Don't tell me. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification. But, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter. And you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Yeah, yeah, sure. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. So, what exactly is this good stuff you... We've got a couple of examples here. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Fought mythology. a lot of these guys. The one. That's right. And what's more, they're directional. We've collected as many as we can. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. We're only three short. Thank you. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. All right, then. Do. I'll follow the green things. <laughs> Worry not. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. 
let's see. Uh, the Kolzicht Echoes. Yeah, I guess I'm going there. Etsy Auditori, thank you very much. Ender Osseus, Razirath, Jazare, uh, Tetris MX, Warcolic, Frios Boosted, Saiyan Sufer, Brian McGiven, Blue Rose Doubloon, Plus Sun Whiff, and RKBM. Thanks for the five bucks, dude. Time to get moving. Ready, go. Try out some of this new stuff. be a pun. Fuck. different that's for sure spherical echo you double tap the circle to freeze without a perfect dodge okay okay i gotta get used to it i'm assuming very far away Ah, I see. So Dravosh is still standing. For now at least. If you can swing a hammer. You... Would you like to see my wares? Certainly. Here you are. Yoink. Let's take care of all this stuff. Clive! You're here! Mostly off to the north still. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabozd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Don't tell anyone. Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Oh, shit. This is very far away. How'd you get here? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. That your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. 
Bloody stupid tradition in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? You have had your moment. You, uh... We can't afford to waste. Right, you are. Okay, let's go kill are things. One last word Use my new abilities. Any nasty surprises, dude. Oh, and... Blackthorn. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. Uh, what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. Oh, God. Right Get yourselves inside, but keep understood. Go get inside, you be safe and we kill thingies. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. And if they kill you, you evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. As a Baza, thank you. You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? <laughs> Not the Akka chick. Uh oh, that's a big one. That's actually really cool. Got the wrong dang ability equipped. That's a big bird.
Wow, that thing died. Okay. Getting used to the new move set. Is that it? Apparently not. Well, this thing looks dangerous. Dear. Well, he's got IG stuff too. I hit the red part, not the yellow. Weird, because the red part's bigger. You know? Red part's actually larger on that one. Oh, funny. Okay, you're supposed to hit the red part. It's so easy to do. Oh, the question is... Did I miss any? Oh, it's large because it's upgraded. Gotcha. Man alive! You're still in one piece! I did it. As many as I could, he says. The Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you? Good. Oh, you do know. More will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Another blacksmith quest done. Another, uh... Armor thingamajig? Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. But mostly, I felt grateful. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Mood right change, now, one ID. Yeah. It's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. 
You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoged isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day. Because... It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. <laughs> I kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but... No one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I daren't let them down. I daren't. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw. I never thought I'd see the day. The end. There's no way Blackthorn can ever be unhappy ever again. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Shut it up. Better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. More badges. And this is a token of a. <laughs> Sticks it on his fucking head because there's no other room for it. I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief Ooh. for generations. Now we're talking. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show. Eva. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravost in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Oh, really? Oh, real. So I'll go check out this one. Oh, really? Yeah, the viewership definitely went up for the nude scene. You better believe it. Thumbnail had a couple of naked Final Fantasy characters on it, and people came crawling. You better believe it. When the Fang fell, it took my livelihood. We need someone who can bring the whole town. It's crazy how the new, um, what's it called? The new Shiva dodge is Come pretty on. much witch time. Run like the wind. Right? Precise dodge gives you literal time stop. Someone's got himself in trouble. And it's like area time stop, too. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> a 
Then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. But now. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then. If you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Ooh, dangerous. <laughs> Casting all this shit. It's you. Shoot you a whole bunch. Bye bye. Bye bye. as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. That... I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. Hmm. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked. And it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Yoink! Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at North Reach and see if I can pick up his trail. Loop, Trotten. Uh, what else have we got on the world map? Is it this one? Oxcry Cliff? Yeah, there's the weird science one. Let's go here. Kashik Chocobo. It's gonna be like three bucks, isn't it? Three sharp fangs. Uh oh. The whole village is turned. All right. Oh shit. Oops, wrong one. Nice 
Like everybody in the goddamn village? Like everyone? in midair that's very cool that's actually super cool Bye. Yeah, the bombs are like, um, you know, you're doing a dodge with cold snap. Oh, I know, I know, I've done that several times. It just takes more precise timing. Uh, where's our shit at? To the left. Hey guys, chill. Really? Jelly. Holy dumb shit. Dodge, come on, man. I gotta fight again. What the hell to do about this? Nice try. Damn it, man, you were unconventional ass attack. That was really weird. I'm just gonna get hit by this shit. Guy's got some really weird timing to his attacks. Crap, I got hit so much. Getting used to uh, Shiva stuff takes a little while. Two down, one to go. Are three to swap enemies between locked on? Yes, I have also been playing the game for 40 hours. 
is there anything else in here? No, this has us traveling around all over the place. Uh, Tabor. Anything around Lost Wing? There it is. Found it. Found it. Northreach. Okay. I don't even know what a trial is. I'm assuming you mean, uh, you know, uh, hunts or else that's an incredible spoiler. That's an incredible spoiler. Potential last one over here? Suck an animation. That slowdown seems a little weird to me. You know? Give me the stuff. That's all of them. The wine cannot cross his toes now. I didn't even see this box. Yeah, I mean, I think Shiva's big, like, ice chuck ability is really good. Like, this one is really good. I don't know about Mesmerize, though. I think I'm, I think I'm just using the wrong one. Seems a little... eh. Ice Age, wait, where is it? It's Rhyme. That's what I gotta be using here. Let me get a look at this. Yeah, this sort of acts like... You know, anything in this thing's wake. Similar to this. Oh, it's setting it off. Oh, man. Those are gonna work very well together. Oh, shit. Those are gonna work very well together. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Good to know. That might be our new, like, Scarlet, uh, Will, Will of the Wikes thing. Aha. The AFK damage build? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I do think that I need to, uh, master Impulse and Giga Flare and get rid of Wings of Light, you know? I just think overall, it takes too much. Probably gonna buy Diamond Dust at some point. I might do Diamond Dust over... Uh, that has some crazy high stun. I'll try Rhyme stuff first. I want to get ahead of myself. I actually want to try some shit. Mess around with some stuff. No, I don't want to respect the free up points. I do not. I just want to commit to what I got and unlock shit. Come back. 
Oh, that's Yote. She's hanging out here now. Don't tell me Emmanuel, thank you. Himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. Mm. Funny. But none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire, burning the cinders you charmed out of old. Uh oh, this feels like some ultimate weapon shit. And that wet stone from the outer oils? That'll be what gives the blade Combining all edge. the things that we... I've put together. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. 17 years later. Wait, they're just starting? You're just gonna be done? I don't have to go around the world looking for shit? Sometime later? Damn, we got a meanwhile? Well, bugger me. Sh shit. We actually did it. Well, shit. Well, shit. The sword to end all swords. Ooh. Ragnarok. It's quite something. I, uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Maybe. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? Well, that side question is paying this, off. Nah, this was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It would take more than that to earn us our place in history, but we're up for the challenge. Here, a list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there. We could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy Ooh. of a legendary outlaw like yourself. Ooh. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. Ooh. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Oh. They put this sword on. What, is, what kind of damage are we talking about here? Hey, what, is, what are we looking at here? How beefy is this thing? The goddamarung! The goddamarung! Wait, upgrade the Ragnarok. Uh, isn't the Goddard Damarung or whatever the fuck it is? It was also an FF7 remake as well, right? Wasn't that an accessory that did some crazy ass shit? Yeah, it was an accessory. That's what I thought. Well, damn, that's better. Yeah, I gave you like instant limit break. What'd you want? Well, I can't even reinforce this thing. It's too beefy. Got the ice brand over here, too. Seems nice. That it? Right, left on it. What do I owe the honor? <laughs> I never thought me and Zoltan would ever speak again. Let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. Yeah. The weight of all that shit. Covered it on that one. What'd you say? Oh, that's the Ragnarok's upgrade, is the goddamn rung. Dark Steel and Primitive Battle Horn. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Might as well craft this ice brand. If I do say so myself. Do not. Anything else? Let's upgrade those as they come. God damn, Arone. 
tried Molly's lemon tarts. Canva lost. But it can't be true. What do you reckon we should do? I say we should just tell them. How was she? I got it. Shut up. Good, thankfully. Ah, that's brilliant! I'll fit into the smelter right away! There's those weird sound effects I was looking for. May I present to you... The Telemon Furnace! She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid! It's... it's fine. Really. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it, yeah. You could just... buy me a bigger... How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon <laughs> I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong. But it's also, well, stretchy. Stretchy metal. <laughs> that is the spirit. Gimme. So what is this? More, more potions? We can carry up to like 10 or something like that? Potion quantity? So? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Shh. Do mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, innit? Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. It's funny how most of this dialogue, I just cut it off when the characters, like, stop talking in their first sentence, and it still makes perfectly sense. Like it, like, it makes perfect sense. Like, it doesn't, you don't need the extra, all the extra two to three sentences that come after. It's like, no, you still get the idea. You're good. Too much fluff. Inventory maximized. Uh, nice. Yeah, up to eight. Cool. All right, we got a decent amount of stuff done today, right? And then we're about to uh, actually like progress the story a little bit. I got a couple of thingamajigs to do here. Got a couple of hunts left. You know, we got a decent chunk of Final Fantasy in today. It feels quite nice, you know? Feels quite nice. I can't do arcade mode. I haven't beaten the regular game yet. Why am I going to do arcade mode if I can barely get through the regular game? Regular game so goddamn long. Ain't playing no goddamn arcade mode. Ah, uh, let's save. Yeah, let's see, twenty-eight, twenty-four. Curious on diamond dust, but at the same time, you know, I don't know. Didn't buy that. I did buy the Judgment Bolt. Didn't upgrade it, though. Never even touched these. Sheesh. Never even touched these things. Yeah, this move seems interesting. It doesn't seem that good. I'm I'm thinking I, I uh, the, the mobility that comes from this shit is just so good, right? It's just so good. Obviously, another... My final limit break bar would be nice. Yeah, Shiva's dash seems very good, but it's like... I don't know if I'd like everything else on it too much, but we haven't messed around with the two... Uh, too much. I have to really mess around with Rhyme to see if that's any good. I think I upgraded it. I did. 
So that lasts quite a while. Diamond Dust is basically an instant stagger after partial stagger for most of the mini bosses. Whew. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if I, I would be looking for stagger damage to take up a whole slot that's like one of these. I don't know. I didn't get wind up at all. Damn. Might just get that instead of Raging Fists, you know? Might be fun. Let's replace Phoenix Dash with a Lunge. Uh. Do you mean. Uh. Do you mean. You do mean that. You do mean. Stinger. Okay. All right. I haven't used wind up at all, really, yeah. But you're getting a lot of ability points for things now, so there's going to be some pretty decent ways to just mess around with shit. Just fun. It is very fun.